Lovely brew. Interestingly, not Yorkshire tea. Despite people thinking that everyone from Yorkshire only drinks Yorkshire tea, occasionally we do like a coffee. So I'm doing my usual thing with my Amazon Fire Tablet 10 where I'm consuming media and not multitasking and what happens? An update comes down. So all shapes and sizes of the latest generations of the Amazon Fire HD or Fire 7 which doesn't have HD in its title have all now been updated to Fire OS 7.3.1.9 So what's the difference? Quite literally if you check out what tasks you are running we now have a bit more of an Android like experience when we switch through the tasks and we have a little drop down that we can press which gives us app info unfortunately it doesn't mean we've got multitasking yet and as kind as I am I have checked the developer options to make sure that multi window is available in there and unfortunately it's not it's still disabled you can possibly enable it if we mess about with some of the source files on the device but we're not going to do that it can get messy and complicated and we could probably end up bricking the device but I'm not going to stop there because the Fire HD 10 is getting a refresh in 11 days if you're watching this when I've published the video if not it's going to be less or it might even already be out if you've not watched this video first and not much is changing however there is now 3 gigabytes of RAM rather than the 2 that we have in the existing one. Interestingly there is a bundle where you can buy the tablet with a Microsoft 365 personal subscription for 12 months. Now this is clearly aimed at productivity. I mean it's literally called the productivity bundle. But what's really interesting about this is the fact that on some of the screenshots we appear to have what can be described as split screen or multi-window. We've clearly here got somebody looking at an email and also having a video call at the same time. So although we don't yet have confirmation that we are going to get multi-window on the Fire devices, this screenshot seems to indicate that we are doing. So I think we need to watch this space and see what happens. I've said it before on quite a few of my videos, the Amazon Fire tablets are really powerful now uh, and they, they have so much potential if Amazon allowed us to do things such as use multi-window mode that is there under the hood, it's just not enabled. Anyway, what do you think? Are you going to invest in one of these new Amazon Fire tablets or are you going to stick with what you've got and hope for the best? Let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.